Hey guys, Paul Springer here at the Renegade Compound in Anaheim, California. Have a 2011 Chevy truck here covered in surface rust. I'm going to show you the easy way that I found how to remove it. First we're going to wash it to get the dirt off. Then we're going to use an iron remover to soften up the rust particles. Then I have a clay pad on a machine I'm going to show you how to use to get it off really quickly. And then we're going to throw a quick ceramic coat on it. Super easy. So we washed it, rinsed it. You want to keep it wet because now I'm going to use the Voodoo X iron remover. It really works good on brake dust and on paint. Industrial Anaheim has all kinds of machine shops, metal shops, all kinds of stuff floating around the air. So that's how you see the rust. So this is going to soften it up. I'm going to show you how to do that. So you just spray it on. I keep the car wet, obviously. Um, just spray this all over the hood. It's going to start turning purple when you see it start breaking down the metal particles on there. Um, I don't go sparingly on this stuff because it does a better job if you just keep it wet. You want to keep it wet. And I'm going to let this one stay on here for a couple minutes because this truck's really bad. You guys can see how purple this has become. It's really working. So now I'm gonna rinse it off and then we're gonna get to the clay section. Okay guys, so now I just rinsed off the Iron X, softened up the metal particles. So this is one of my favorite steps. I bought this little cordless machine for my clay pads. Why cordless, you ask? I do a lot of fleets of big rigs, and it's just easier to not have a cord over my back, especially when there's water everywhere. I think I paid 150 bucks for this. It's a little shaky. I don't use it for polishing paint or anything, but I do like it for this process. It works really good. So I'm going to use a waterless wash from Renegade. You can use anything, body shine, um, finish detailers, anything's a good lube. And then I'll show you how to do it. You want to get this wet? Really want to keep things wet in this process, like just like clay bar. And none of this is going to hurt my machine, which is cool. So we're going to spray this. Again, I don't go chintzy on my products. If you're a detailer and you're going chintzy on your products, Raise your prices. So here we go. I used a lot of pressure, it's not gonna hurt anything. Okay guys, this little panel literally took me like 20 seconds and it's crystal clear. So I'm gonna finish this half of the hood and then we're gonna dry it, remove the tape and I'll show you the difference. guys, easy. I'm going to rinse it off real quick. So now it's super slick. I mean, that took me a couple minutes to do half the hood. So I'm going to dry this and then we're just going to throw a ceramic spray on it. It's going to be good. So I just dried it and I noticed, you know, the machine can't get 100%. So on these little channels, I have a little bit after I dried it. So I'm just going to use my clay, my waterless wash gonna touch up just like a couple inches right there because we want perfection. This actually takes me a lot longer to use your original clay than the clay pads in the machine. So that wasn't too bad right there. You just want it perfect. Now we're gonna protect it with this ceramic spray. Spray some on your towel. Rub it over the paint. To make it slick. This is just an easy process. You could polish this, you could wax it. it. Just depends on what your customer wants. Then you flip the towel over to the dry side and wipe it off. So I'm gonna remove the tape, you can see the difference. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Walker Brothers, one of my clients, for letting me use their truck in this video. I appreciate it. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Springers Detailing. You can follow Renegade Products 
uh, RenegadeProductsUSA.com and RenegadeProductsUSA on Instagram, Facebook. Thanks for watching.